Coming up on R&B Reviews, Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and Richard Ayoade protect their neighborhood from the threat of a potential alien invasion in the comedy The Watch. Does this film deliver with this cast, or does it just fall flat? I'll have my review for you coming right up. First, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and leave your comments or your thoughts about it. It's a great movie because it goes back and forth in the family. That's why I found it, the Neighborhood Watch. Any one of these people could be an alien. Check her out. It's like she's studying some new discovery. Should I put it in my flavor snout? Jackets for the watch. Tiger with wings. A tiger, flames, and wings all on the same logo. It's like the Chinese symbol for shut up and dance. Look at, his face. Look at my face. Look at his face and listen to me. Look at him and listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at him and understand me. Look at both of us but understand no one. Listen to my words. Hear his face. Hello everybody, I'm Rob, and that is footage from the new comedy The Watch, which is about a group of neighbors that get together when a resident mysteriously gets killed, and it's soon believed that aliens are somehow behind it. Now, when I went to go see this movie today, The Watch looked like it was going to be a very funny movie, but I kind of ended up leaving the theater disappointed. Um, I won't deny that there were some p points where I laughed, but there were mostly moments where I acknowledged the moment was, you know, funny, or it just fell flat and I just let it pass. I mean, for the most part, I think the funniest moments were in the trailer, and honestly, I hate when they do that, where they put the best stuff from a movie inside a trailer. Uh, for me, there, there, there wasn't really too many laugh-out-loud moments with this movie, and I thought the ideas had good potential, but a lot of the scenes were just, to me, not really thought out. It was like, uh, it's like when we, we get to the punchline of a scene without, you know, with skipping over the joke is the best way to put it. It's like they pushed the funny thing in it and there was nothing to really lead up to it. There is a gag involving a neighbor's uh, basement, which I could see coming before the film even got there. A lot of complaints that I had heard about this movie was the actors have played these types of characters so many times, like you have Ben Stiller as the naive person who tries to help out, and Vaughn is the fast-talking, loudmouth dad, and Jonah Hill is a young adult who is dangerous and he still lives at his mom, and... Now, I'll be honest, I never heard of Richard Iowati before I went to see this movie, and, I, and if I mispronounced his last name, I apologize, but a lot of my, a lot of my other uh, fellow movie reviewers aren't even attempting to say his name, but at least I tried. But um, I hadn't heard of Richard Iowati before, but based on what I read, he did a very popular show in England called The It Crowd. It, it kind of sounds interesting, so I want to see if I can find it on DVD, but based on what I have read about him, I bet he is much better than this. I mean, when he is given something to do in this movie, he could be very, very funny, but most of the time he's in the background looking like he doesn't know what, to, what he's supposed to be doing. So why he chose to make this his Hollywood debut, I'm not it's sure. One scenario in my mind, sexy Asian housewife alone at night. Best call than watch. Men. She sucks. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm also interested in that. Aspect. Jonah Hill, he does try to make the material work, but I think he has done better in other movies. And Stiller, to me, Stiller looked like he just wasn't really interested in the movie. There's a routine at the beginning of the movie involving him and a police officer outside of the Costco that his character manages that I think could have been very funny if Stiller just didn't seem like he was just going through the motions. I wondered, sometimes when I was watching this movie, I wondered whether this movie was improvised at all because some of the dialogue seemed to be going on and on and on and on and sometimes it just would go on and continue to fall flat. I mean, there's nothing wrong with improvising bits into the movie, but if you place a camera on two or three comedians and they just talk, it doesn't always guarantee that they're going to say something that's really funny. Um, I really, really wanted to like this movie and I really wanted to give it a rent it rating, but I, I really, I tried, but I can't. I think it had good potential to be funny and raunchy, but the movie for me just did not work like it could have. I'm going to have to give The Watch a snuff at rating, and I'm sure I'm going to be getting a lot of backlash from that, but that's just my opinion. So if you have seen The Watch, go ahead and leave your uh, comments in the comment box. I do read everything that you guys post, and uh, thank you very what much you for doing? watching. Who are these people? Damn it, Mom, stay out of my room! Oh, sorry, Milo, I was trying to impress my friend.